We are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. Hey, welcome to Conspiracy Dummy, the conspiracy podcast that has no method to its madness. I am your host, Double D. Joining me on the podcast, once again, we have a young Christian warrior and a dinosaur aficionado. We have... Uh, we, we have... We have... I missed it that long, bro. Come on, you forgot the name. <laughs> oh, you forgot the name. Yeah, Dino Rider. What's good, homie? It, well, I'm good And uh, can I just say folks This one You know normally I come up here prepared right Yeah no, This is just for fun folks So don't expect no, no man, academia We're just Today we're just shooting the shit man No <laughs> Nothing too crazy There are some cool headlines though bro Some some shit brewing in the So if there's a lot of far- brain farts I apologize folks <laughs> Yeah For sure and this is what friends are for. Because, I, like I said, I didn't come prepared, but just to help a homie out with his podcast, because homeboy got an itch today, bro. <laughs> yeah, To be bro. in front of the damn uh, uh, I do, man. Mike. I do. Shit. Slim um, Shady over there's, here. There's some shit brewing, man. Um, First, let's talk about, let me see. Well, first, how, how have you been? I've been all right. You know me, working, you know, uh, having problems with my car, but I digress because that's my personal issues. But, you know, life, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, man. Homeboy Flintstone his way out here, man. <laughs> um. <laughs> Fucking car smoking and everything. Yeah, yeah, but doing it and shit. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Come on. Yeah, not much going on with me. Just, uh, you know, doing well, the Lord's see. work. Yeah. we. I see because you got plenty of time to be doing podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, man. Uh, but yeah, let me see. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, oh shit! Have you heard about the president, bro, of Mexico, President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador? No, dude. That's the reason why, because I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, well, yeah, I don't know man. what that man, dude you're is. Close, bro. You're like cl- cousins and shit. How the hell, <laughs> dude? I'm in the fucking what is that? Atlantic Ocean over there, but the Bahamas and you're shit. The, you're the fucking islanders, bro. Yeah. Surrounded oh. by surrounded by ocean, folks. He, he talking about I'm just down there. Geography, my friend. Geography. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> genealogy. You guys are close enough. Um, you mean geographically? No, like by your genes. I'm sure somewhere there's. Do some I look link. like um, uh, Azteca? Do I look Azteca to you? No, but we're gonna be talking close about it. We're gonna be talking Maya. about some Mayan shit, bro. Maya, bro. Maya. It's a Maya. I am over there chilling, just killing chickens and shit, eating, eating Komodo dragons, and <laughs> like waving eggs in the air and shit. Hell yeah, doing some voodoo. Um, yeah. So, uh, well, that, this dude, bro, this president dude, uh, he posted a photo on his social media account showing, uh, I guess what happened to be a. Uh, a mythological creature, this woodland spirit similar to an elf, like an elf witch. It's called the Aluxe. I don't even know if I'm saying don't that chop right. It right. Is yeah. it a Spanish word, right? It is a Spanish okay, word. Okay, how it's do you say Ma- it again? It's a Mayan folklore. Uh, Aluxe. 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 Because yeah, if you spell it like L U X, you know, with the X, yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's pronounced Che, like Luche. A Luche. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Like Socholt. Socholt. Okay. You know, there, I used to know a girl named Socholt. Oh. And I remember that because she used to have an X by her name. And I'm like, do you spell it? You know, maybe being funny, do you spell it with that one X or the double X? But, anyways. Triple X. Maybe she spelled it with the triple X, well, you bro. Know where I was, you know where <laughs> yeah, I was going yeah, with that. Yeah, I do, I do. But like, come on. Good, like, great minds think alike. All right. But this guy, bro, uh, said this, uh, yeah, that he got a picture of this fucking mischievous well, woodland creature okay, that the Mayans up. believed in. Okay, hold up. So the story that you're saying is the president of the United States, no, not the United States, Mexico. Yeah. How, how did he, did he ate, took a picture? How did he came across that picture? Who gave it to him? Uh, some engineers they're excavating some site. I think they're building trains or something like that. It's some project that he's doing. Mm-hmm. The president mining, mining, maybe perhaps. Yeah, okay. they're they're digging for some shit. And um, this is at night they took a picture. You are saying? Yeah, bro. And it's some fucking weird, eerie looking thing, bro. You want me to show it to you real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah. 
Not so that you, people. So you can get like a description, you know what I mean? Said, not that people. And then I'll edit all that shit. Get your shit. minds out the gutter. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying it was like a, a tipo chupacabra or what is it? Like a, one of those cryptids? Is it anything close like a Mothman type shit or what? That's what it is. Let me see. Because I never heard about this. <laughs> I don't know, man. This thing, bro, it's a... Uh, Mexican president shares picture of mystical. The Mexican president on Sunday shared a picture of he claimed was a mystical creature identified as an elf. Yeah, So, ma- And then this creature, bro, inhabited the forest and the fields of Mexico, right? Or some part of Mexico. And they're prone to playing tricks on people, bro. They're like, they hide your shit and stuff. You know what I mean? Or I don't know what the fuck they man, do. They probably is, play hide the dick. Man, this is a fuck. homeless person high, bro. That's what that is. That's a homeless person on the tree. Looks like it, huh? <laughs> some fucking dude just scoping some peeping Tom yeah, and shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, leave their people alone, man. They just trying to get some sleep. Yeah, they're taking pictures but at that, night. But if you think about it, bro, if you look at right. if you look at it, it has that glare in the eyes. Well, yeah, at night if you're taking a, a, a um, you know, a, um. Infrared, like at night, or crow, of course, your eyes are gonna like reflect glow. back yeah. at you and shit like that. Like the dark. You ever seen them cameras? And when you're like taking, when you shine a fucking cat, like yeah, a light on a cat yeah, or something. Some people. That's weird that we're talking about that. You know, you notice like they used to say that people, when you know, when you take pictures and their eyes come out all glowy and they look all weird and shit. Yeah, yeah. Those are the ones you need to watch out, bro. What? And I got a couple of cousins, but I don't, I'm not gonna mention their names. <laughs> you know, like they, they come out like that, dude, looking real freaky and shit. Damn, they be climbing trees and shit. Oh, shit, <laughs> uh, maybe they're part part elf or some shit, Frodo or some shit. But yeah, yeah dude, that I don't know. I, I don't know what you mean. What you want me to say about that? Because nah, I never it's just heard. a trip. It's just something that this dude fucking posted on his social media account, bro. Because even the picture is not giving me anything. I can't go from. The president's a yeah. TikToker and shit. I don't know. Is he? I don't know. He I mean, just has they, accounts. So I don't know which one. Yeah, they got all the time in the world, so I would not be. So, he's be TikToking in the way. And yeah, shit. man, TikToking in the Everybody way. Everybody got a TikTok. Do you should start a TikTok? I need you? to. I did have one, but man, that's like they say that's Chinese spyware. What? They're spying on us. I don't know. You just don't know. That's that. a whole. Well, I don't know. Like, they, they're watching. They've been doing right it. Nah, all they, these things are doing it. Google, Facebook, they all been doing as it. As we speak, they're at, listening at us, and they're. With your phone, they're watching us. They're our biggest fans, bro. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Um, okay. Next we have, I just have a few topics that I just thought was funny today. You know what I mean? You know, on the, on the, the one, you know, did you know, because um, I read about this, um, you know how uh, evolution in humans, yeah. you know, now, now, now they're talking about there used to be little people back then. Yeah. Just yeah. as we have a, a giants in the Bible. Uh-huh. The Nephilim. The Nephilim, yep, yep. But we're not going to get all into the genealogy of that stuff. But they also, there's um, evidence now in uh, um, the people, the archaeologists, they have uncovered little bones of people. Yeah, and the Over island. there in the islands. Of Flores. Of Flores, right? Yeah, Flor- the island of Flores or something. Yeah, and they're little yeah. people. And I guess the name derives because it's... Um, it's like the island of the, like a bunch of flowers or something. I don't know, but everything's small out there. I right. think at one time, even they found small elephants too, mm-hmm. pygmy elephants and stuff. And you know why that is, right? Because as uh, um, anything that has to survive in the island type environment uh-huh. gets scaled down because there's less environment, there's less land, there's less food to access. You find anything in, um, let's say you go to Puerto Rico, you're not going to find uh, an elephant, right? Yeah. That's why you find you don't find those types of uh, mammals over there because obviously they can't swim and they're not. It's just that environment that makes an animal or humans small. Yeah. So um, that's what it just reminded me of that. I mean, it, the closest thing that I can think of is like that. That that, and I wish I I would have you know. Um, Homo florensis. Florensis, yeah, and it's yeah. a little person, not like three feet. I think less than three meters less than a meter uh-huh. high and then they found the bones they found the teeth and uh, tools uh, tools and they were apparently uh capable of hunting and everything yeah but in a smaller scale yeah 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 right so yeah. maybe it's one of them could be that's what yeah. they said yeah because uh, they, they they also um you're talking about they live in trees right yeah that's what that's what they said they, they dwell in, tr- in trees right. and like the bush baby. forest dr- like jungle dwellers bush babies stuff. bro the bush babies i don't know what what is that what's a bush baby you don't know what the fuck a bush baby is no 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 over there at uh, um australia oh, okay okay with the big eyes and that's the one that's our ancestors they just throw babies in bushes 
Like they just find them in like random babies in bushes or what? <laughs> Why do they call them bush babies? I think they were doing that in the Old Testament. Some Spartan shit, bro. Yeah, they're like, "Fuck this! This one's worthy. This one's not. Throw them in the bush." That were, they used to do crazy thing back in the days. But nah, yeah. man, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the actual I baby bush I in know. Australia. Yeah, yeah. And that's where it derived. We humans started out from the from those our ancestors, and then the primates came along, and then the hominids, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We do have little bush baby yeah. DNA in us, bro. Dude, they're finding shit all the time, bro. You know, did you know they just found something recently? Like this new chamber in the pyramid of Giza. They just See, all, that's they one just thing. unlocked the new chamber. That's bro. a new idea, bro. That's something that maybe we need to do a podcast because that shit interests me We're, about the the pyramid of Giza. And yeah, yeah. The pharaohs and everything you know that they find in there. You mm-hmm. know that there was a curse in the 1920s, right? When they first opened that, that whole ex ex um, excavation. The whole excavation, uh, when they first opened it, the whole crew died, bro, apparently. Oh, yeah, there was some curse or yeah, something yeah. like that, huh? Tutankhamen or something like that? Something like that. Yeah, I wish I came prepared. But and like that fucker I said, had folks, a big, elongated head, too, bro. There's, like, statues of him or something. That's some freaky-looking shit, like a xenomorph. Something. I think that's oh, what... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you think that's what the, the idea came up across, the xenomorphs? Because like, they're aliens? Dude, they find them all over the place, yeah. bro. What do you think about that? I think there's something to it. They said that people who did that to themselves yeah. are like mimicking the gods. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're trying to look that, like the gods. Could that be because t- their skulls encased a larger brain? Yeah, well, maybe, but it's like, or some crazy fashion statement. I don't even know what that kind of trend, bro. I don't That's think they crazy had fashion looking. back in the days. I don't know. Why would they do it then? You think they just did it to well, attract like the opposite of sex or whatever? I don't know. Nah, dude, I wouldn't get down with the chick looking like that. That's some freaky shit. Maybe the same sex. I'm about, can knows? I give you some head? <laughs> Bitch, you are the head. Ho. But nah, bro, nah, nah. Yeah. I don't think so. No. What else do we got, Danny? Because this is freestyling, folks. Like yeah, we yeah. said, this is freestyling. Off the dome, yo. I didn't, I didn't come prepared, folks. So we just, just yeah, babbling. Shit, just babbling. babbling. Yeah. What else, Danny? What else? Let me see. We got, uh, shit, dude. Have you heard about, uh, this haircuts, this hairstyle, bro, the Edgar mm-hmm. haircut. That's funny you say that because you, you, you've you been knowing my ass for 10 years and I still get the same fade, the same yeah army haircut. So you're going to have to show me a picture of that. Sir. Yeah, I'll show you a picture of this shit, bro. What is it called again? The Edgar haircut, bro. Does that sound like a, like a Victorian old school haircut or some shit? It, it is something like that. It's like definitely something from, from a, the 1800s or some shit. <laughs> it should be, bro. It should be. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. I think that's where they got it from. As I said, oh, that damn. style, bro. That style. Oh, this is why that motherfucker at my work be. He, there's a there's a Mexican guy, right? Dude, there's one there's one everywhere, bro. There's a Mexican guy that has this hairstyle, and I always looked at it. I was like, seriously, dude. And is it just Mexicans too? Damn. I guess because he nope. looks just like him. You don't see Puerto Ricans with that shit. Uh huh. No. 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 Do you see me rocking that shit? No. No, but you don't see anyone? Damn, dude. No, he just happens to be Chicano, you know. And then I yeah. I, I looked at it and I was like, damn, that shit looks straight out of uh, fucking 1800s. Whoa, that haircut is banned at a high school here in Texas. But you know what? His shit was blonde. And his shit, he, 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 he uh, dyed it blonde. But what's the big deal? Is it trending because it's a... Well, it's just it's, a, a, it's just a stupid haircut. Bro. It is a stupid <laughs> haircut. But that haircut is uh, banned. Yeah, like, d- did you grow up like having like things banned? I know, like mm-hmm. certain clothing and shit like that. You know what I mean? Can have baggy pants or like graphics on t-shirts or whatever like that. And I guess to some extent too, you had if you had some crazy looking hair, they probably would tell you to get rid you of know, that the, shit. Um, me and you, we're, we're we're only like a year apart, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember there. wearing jinkos? Yeah, I do. I that do. bell bottom. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that shit, bro. Like I remember, I was so into them motherfuckers that I remember one of my very first jobs. I would waste at least sixty something dollars for a pair of jinkos, bro. Because back then is what we rocked. You know, I also used to rock the kit. Uh, what do you call it? The dickies, right? Yeah, yeah. With the uh, the vans and the the polos and and the flannels. That's what we rocked back in the days. But as far as people banning them. I remember there was a time that um, our uh, they actually did a, a meeting, you know, like a, a parent or something, teacher meeting, but they were saying that the jinkos, the bell-bottom pants, because they were getting too wide, bro. 
Yeah. They oh, were like, rocking dude. them too wide, bro. I would have that shit over my foot, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and I would shred them and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they yeah. Were, apparently, they said, we don't want to, the teachers, the, they're saying, we don't want to see them. You can't wear them, but when they start getting into, like, you're dragging them, and then you could trip, or you somebody can trip over them, that's when it became an issue. It, it was like that that time... That era's bell so, bottoms. You know yeah. what I mean? You think about it, it comes back, huh? It like, does. Yeah. It does. So so fashion, fashion, whatever you want to rock, it, it's like a boomerang, bro. A and boomerang. Now, now skinny jeans are here. What do you think about those? Do you rock skinny uh, jeans? Hell no. Do you see me? <laughs> nah, dude. I think I, I don't look I, I don't look good in skinny jeans. Because first of all, I'm a type of person that likes to be comfortable and the boys got to breathe, bro. No, I can't do that. Uh, I seen you were rocking them hoes one time. I, I rocked them a couple of times, bro. Not like not like too skinny, bro. You know what I mean? I had the same. So I when need, you I when, need the same fit. When you yeah. sit down, do they rip? Nah, nah, <laughs> they sh they, <laughs> nah. They should. Nah. I'm surprised they don't. Um, nah, I don't. I don't like do it. You know what? S tight, tight, skinny jeans should only go on females, bro. That's what's up. Uh, that's what I think. Bell bot like uh, uh, apple bottom jeans. Remember them hoes? Apple bottom jeans, with the, boots with the fur. Who was that? Uh, Nelly? No, who was that? Uh, low, uh, low, 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 low. Uh, was that that? No, Flow Rider. Was is that it, him? I think it is Flow Rider. Yeah. I thought it was. Uh, um, I don't know that crazy motherfucker. Dude. Damn, it's been a while, bro. Yeah, it's been I a minute. Feel, yeah, um, we're getting old. That's how you know we're getting old when we don't remember shit. <laughs> When we're calling out old fucking yeah, songs from right. back in the day and from shit. From the early 2000s and shit. We can't even remember the, who the artist is or the lyrics. Can you believe that fucking Eminem is 50-something talking yeah, about bro. that shit? He looks his age, though. He's Can getting there. Bro. And it, it seems like just, to me, it seems like time went so fast, bro. That's crazy. Yep, yep. Um, next we have, I have this other thing, bro. Have you heard of Black Rock? Or Blackstone. Enlighten me, because I don't know. Uh, well, they're like, um, I think the, both companies fell under the same umbrella at one time. Uh, Blackstone Financial Management. Uh, but they separated. Uh, they're different companies now and shit. Uh, but I think Blackstone, uh, Blackstone's business is in real estate, private equity, hedge fund solutions, and credit and insurance. Uh, Black Rocks business is an equity, fixed income, multi assets, alternatives, cash management, and advisory. Uh, but they buy up everything, man. I think they buy up like banks, so what is buying this? up what, what housing, is buying up all well, this what shit. What is it? Like, what is it? Um, well, like I said, I don't know. I have to do a little bit more research on it. I don't know. And this, and see, this is what happened, folks. Yeah, yeah. This is what happened. <laughs> yeah, folks. yeah. Well, that's the best I can explain it, uh, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, but this um, thing, this, um, but this um, thing, um, the same thing, bro. Bought Ancestry.com, bro. They bought Ancestry. The place that I can send my DNA. Yeah. And they'll they'll tell me if I'm from uh uh uh, uh if I'm uh my ancestors are uh African, Asian, oh, or whatever, or European, whatever, or Neanderthal and shit. You, you know see what I mean? the problem with this? Right? Yeah, yeah. But also, not only can they see your ancestry, they can also see what you're gonna like, what you're prone to, like uh, your illnesses or what like. You know, like how healthy you are. Right. I see you know, the red, state of red health. flags already. I yeah. see red flags already. You're gonna get shit like alerts on your phone, or like you know, you're gonna be in the middle of something. You're gonna get this little. Which to me, you know what I'm saying? Like when you really think about it, do you really believe that bull crap? Because everybody is 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 sprinkled with ed everything, right? Yeah, no. Well, yeah. Like look mixed. at you, Danny. You, like you. To me, I thought you were a straight up essay when I first met you. But then, come kind to of find out, I see his mama, <laughs> yeah. his white tie lady over here one time, and I was like, "Who the hell is this?" <laughs> I turned around, I was like, "Damn, Danny, who's this?" I didn't say it like that, but yeah. I was like, I could not believe that was your mama. Yeah, man. But I, so, so that that's why I'm, I'm saying I'm a half and half, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're a mestizo, straight yeah, up, straight up mestizo. So, like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, we just don't know if these things are accurate because even by appearances, I don't believe it, bro. Because me, you know, straight up, I, I got black in me. I know that. Yeah, I know that. I don't know about my mom. Maybe she was living foul, but I don't know. Something happened. Yeah. Something happened <laughs> yeah. in the family. Dude, dude, don't tell me that's how it was when the, when you were born. Like when you're uh, born, you just popped out. I don't like, look nothing like, I, bro. <laughs> I do not look. Your dad's like, what the fuck? I don't look nothing. As funny as funny as it sounds, yeah. Me, my brother, don't look nothing like my dad. You no. know what we look like? A hundred percent. The mama. neighbor, the milkman. The, <laughs> no, the mama, the mama. <laughs> El lechero. 
You know what? In Spanish, it's always el lechero. <laughs> el lechero. <laughs> es el hijo del lechero, este hijo de puta. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's funny, dude, because we don't look, I don't look nothing like my dad. Nothing. Uh -huh. But my mom said, nah, I don't get down like that. Yeah, How, how dare you? You know, <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's funny. But yeah, you she, know, with you talking her, about they gave her some of that black rock. <laughs> black rock apparently was doing that shit back in the days, folks, in the, the late seventies, I guess. This a yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, you continue with this black rock shit. Well, yeah, know. so I don't know, man. They're just buying up that shit. They bought mm. Ancestry dot com, but this is a few. I just found out about this shit. You know what I mean? So I think it was like in 2020, 2021. They That's bought, dangerous, they, bro. For like no. four point something billion dollars is, and uh, shit. We're all joking around, but when you start messing up with people, because like, people nowadays, do you got to, some people will believe anything. And, you know, some people are that gullible that they believe this oh, fucking yeah. shit. And don't believe us. This yeah. is, I'm just, you know, right. saying shit. You got to look into it, yeah. but, you know. But it doesn't really matter, folks. It's like, come on now. you. I mean, do you really want to find out where you're from? Like, you know. I don't know, Do man. you think that no? That like seriously, like to me, it doesn't it play a big role. Yeah. Like I don't think, I, oh, my ancestors. I would like to know, bro. Like, I truly, would too. But I'm but afraid of I, the only reason I don't was because of shit like that. I don't want them to know right, right things about me like right. that. And you know, nowadays they they can't, bro. If you go visit the fucking doctor, they get blood. If you get blood, right, you check your blood. I'm sure they're gonna have shit on you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So um, it's just like a blurred line. Which what kind of like people scientists and now these people are they scientists slash realtors or what is it like it sounds weird to me yeah man red flags everywhere folks don't do it don't or, do it or like the thing why they keep your teeth you know when you go to the dentist mm -hmm. and they, they extract your tooth you know your your wisdom oh. teeth like why can't you keep them you know you can ask hey can i keep that no as a you gotta person keep them. as a person that watches a lot of forensic files bro yeah. well, I, that's my favorite shit yeah. other than like paleontological stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then um, stuff that has to do with the past, evolution. That's my first, right? Y'all guys know that. Yeah. But my second shit that I like, and maybe we should do a podcast, is forensics. I'm down. You know what? And then that you just mentioned that, why do they keep the teeth? Is because I've seen enough episodes when they, these people kill motherfuckers, they burn them to a crisp, and the only thing that's left, guess what? It's a teeth. The teeth and the teeth, the inside got what? Uh, DNA. Animal. Enamel. Is that how you spell it? Enamel. 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 There you there go. You, you got go. it. There. That's yeah. what we need to be prepared. But anyway, yeah. that's where the DNA is. Yeah. So it's funny that you mentioned that. And uh -huh. then these people, they keep the teeth. It's all ties together. Why is that, though? You think they just keep it because they want to know. That's where they get your, your DNA from, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why they keep your teeth because they can do studies on different ethnic groups. Yeah. They can mess them up. And yeah. they probably can see who the, the the lineage to Jesus Christ or somebody that's like historic like that. Maybe they can well, find we, the We know that, that. Just, just recently, we remember we did a podcast on um, Jesus. Yeah. Remember when... The actual appearance, he was a Palestinian man. Yeah. So he looked like a real Middle Eastern man. And none of that blue eye, light skin, working the hair in the wind, none of that stuff. Yeah. Blue eye, that, that's not the real Jesus for uh, people. He was a Palestinian man. There was DNA done. And that's the person that I do envision as being an actual real person that we know from. None of that uh, Hollywood crap, but we're getting off the subject. So maybe Blackrock or Blackstone. Uh-huh. Is trying to find the lineage to that person, to that the person that's related to. Maybe, I mean, maybe no, I'm just throwing it out no. there. It's more of uh, manipulation, controlling. Uh, oh yeah, controlling what ethnic groups, uh, learning what their uh, allergies are, learning what. How can we maybe to make the a person that's more human than human, bro? To make better humans in the future. I mean, it may it's it's like come on, it's common sense. Like if you're keeping people's teeth. Yeah, and if you go to the doctor and say, "No, I want my teeth back. Can I get my teeth?" You can't do that. That's some crazy shit, huh? right? That's Think mine, of, exactly. Like I could have took that shit right. myself. Yeah, don't keep none of mine. Hell no, that's a calling card. Give me my shit. Give yeah. my teeth back, bro. Show sure, man. Don't do it, folks. Walk walk home with your <laughs> teeth. Get you a brand new set of teeth. Yeah, but also ask for your old teeth. Yeah, you know for sure. Yeah, like a famous prophet once said. What did he say? I just told you. <laughs> Keep your teeth. Keep your teeth, son. Yeah. 
like Wu Tang, get mm-hmm. them gold fronts. Right, that grill, bro, that Buick. Yeah. Um, all right, let me see. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, shit, dude, did you hear about that shit? What Woody Harrelson said on uh, SNL. Some crazy. Mm, I saw shit, it, bro. but I don't. I don't see what the. I mean, it, I, all I see is a funny guy had a couple of drinks, a little weird here and there, just trying to be funny. I, it didn't offend me in any way, but what? What? What do you mean? Watch. Well, let's play what he said, bro. Check this out. Why some people getting triggered or some shit? <laughs> I don't know, man. Why is everybody so the sensitive, bro? Yeah, Why is it so sensitive? I don't know, man. It's like, you cr- can't open your mouth nowadays without people being offended, bro. It's because people have too much time on their hands. You know what I mean? When life's too good for you, you got to go out and find fucking problems, I guess. You know right. what I mean? Right. Yeah. Enjoy the peace, right? Yeah, man. Life's too short. And if, you know, if people are, you know, they forget that people, if you have something to say, that you have entitlement to say whatever you want to say, bro. Well, let's see what this. Everybody, yeah. you know. And yeah. it, this is America, folks. It's free, freedom of speech. Don't get triggered. For sure. And this is what, what he had to say. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen. You sure you're not going to get copyrighted for nah, this? Nah, maybe. maybe. It's a long ass monologue. Uh, but this might be the last yeah, okay, episode, no, folks. So three years yeah. ago, then he's going to get shut park, down. Sunday maybe. morning, the Lord's Day. <laughs> trying to resist the temptation to puff too early in the day. Yeah. <laughs> of course. That's you, Danny. I succumbed. That's you, Danny. Like I always succumb. A lot succumbed. of people, I have a devil on one shoulder, and on the other shoulder, I have shoulder a larger, more me. frightening devil. <laughs> and there's a battle going on in here. You know, I, I'm just, I'm just saying that I am many different things: anarchist, Marxist, Marxist, Marxist ethical hedonist, non-discriminatory Ooh. empath, Ooh. epistemological deconstructionist, <laughs> Texan. <laughs> <laughs> but typical back to American. the tree in Central Park in that script. <laughs> typical uh, put Texan. yourselves Tip, in my yeah, place. Typical Texan. Lay the curve of your neck against the roots of the tree. What, what kind of tree was it? I mean, what kind of trees they have in Central Park? Oh, yeah, it was a palm tree. <laughs> so lay, lay your head on the palm, fire up a hooter from yeah. Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> and start reading. Okay, so the movie goes like this. Check it. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. And people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea (laughs) being forced to do drugs? I do that voluntarily all day long. (laughs) Anyway, it's, called it's addiction. about that time. Yeah. Come on. Well, anyways, that's that is kind of crazy, bro. And uh, no, but what is the how bi- the whole fucking world pretty uh-huh. much bought into that shit? We bought into that shit. That shit's crazy, bro. With the COVID and the well, I don't know. I guess yeah. With this whole, th- if you want to look at them like cartels, you know, drug mm-hmm. cartels, big pharmaceutical companies and stuff, and mm-hmm. this lockdown and it's keep you inside, and and you would think, bro, like they profited a lot this year. Um, their goal is to try to make more money every year of uh, companies, right? So you think Big Pharma, they made a lot of money this year. So how are they going to continue making more money every year? Well, people, Fucking remember. boosters, man. Yeah, you got to get your booster, people. Remember, um, just to be on the safe side, take your booster shots, um, people. Um, Brought to you by... <laughs> Yeah, well, we want to keep you alive. Yeah, we want to keep you out of the bed, folks. But yeah, yeah, you buy into that commercialism, and you know he's right. I mean, he doesn't take a scientist. It's not rocket scientist, but this has been going on since media, bro. Yeah, television, nineteen fifties, nineteen fifties. Shit, you have big business right. buying out media, mm-hmm. buying out fucking politicians. It's nothing new. Nothing it's new. just. Damn, doggy. It's nothing new, bro. And you, you hear the fucking audience. They're laughing in the beginning of the monologue, but right when he drops that bit, but needles, let me ask you this. Crickets. Let me ask you this. He's talking all that smack, though. Like, does he been uh, um, vaccinated himself? Uh, Woody that's Harrelson? That, uh, Woody Harrelson? What is his name? Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Uh, I like to think that he didn't, but I don't know. Who knows? You know? Is he, like, involved in politics? You know how some people are. Some, a lot of... Uh, um, uh, actors are in Hollywood. He's an activist, you know. What I mean, and I activist. think that's yeah. And I think that by you know with marijuana and shit or other things, you know. What I mean, I think he is an activist for other 
you know issues and stuff but i think like legalizing marijuana yeah, legal, more more, in more states yeah yeah or whatever you know what i mean just making it legal period you know what i mean so then they used to make shrooms now legal somebody said that well they need shrooms. to i think in some places Portland, somebody said they're legalizing shrooms bro they need to you know over there then people over there like in colorado where it's cold and shit yeah that's why you they, the drugs are uh, legal i got some you want some no we're doing the podcast Let's and i gotta it. drive we should do that next time on the podcast for sure. Hi, I'm doing a podcast. Well, huh? Yeah, on shrooms. But anyways, well, I like digress. It. Right. Um, yeah, man. So that that's pretty crazy. I don't know. But what? Why? Why is the? Uh, why do you think? Uh, why are the media saying about well, this? Well, it's because the thing is, you know, because they are yeah, very well, they're, sensitive. They're, 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 yeah, they're sensitive. They're probably gonna start to try to cancel this homeboy. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I think you can't say nothing nowadays. And, no, especially on SNL, bro. They went all woke and shit and. And I think they realize that shit. So now they're trying to be edgy. Let's see what's up. Let's, you know, let's get I some I think viewers. it's ever since that homeboy got slapped. Everybody's trying to undo people. Oh, speaking about that, that <laughs> shit, that slap with Will Smith and shit and yeah, Chris Rock. Like that that new, shit was shocking, bro. Yeah, that new special, bro, gave fucking uh, Will Smith a smacking of his own, bro. What that, do you mean? Uh, Chris Rock's new special, man. He did it on. He dropped it on Netflix live. Oh, and shit. I need to see that. And dude, at the end, is bro, it out yet? Yeah, it's out. And then at the end, what's bro, it called, bro? Uh, out, outrage, outrage. And you Hit see that pun. And it's not end, really him. Like in the beginning, he drops his whole like you know special. Before, I'm pretty sure he was working on some stuff. And at the end, he mentions the whole thing with Chris. I mean, with Will Smith and shit. How is that, though? Because I, I don't want to give anything away. You just gotta watch it. No, but, but his his whole attitude towards that is like, is it more? I about, think his whole attitude is like, yeah. fuck you, motherfucker. Really? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Because man. in the beginning, he was like, oh, I get it. You know, I know maybe I would have fucked up, but he was like, I thought. He was coming across as being like, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Well, I get it. Now I won't fuck with him he, no more. He was talking about selective outrage. Like he, like that's not cool. He, like at he all. picked his, yeah, his, that's his cool. yeah. That's what he did. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's not cool. You're right. No, you're not. Yeah. I, you know how my thing is. Like you know me, bro. And I mean, you can say whatever you want to say, but if you step up to me, you're gonna have to give me three feet of distance. And if you close to my face, I got the right. You know, uh, um, to 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 um, defend myself. Yeah. But it, you let people talk, and it, it, you don't have the what right to hit do, nobody. What would, you, what would you do in that situation? You're like presenting. A, you're like the host oh, of a bro, sh- I'll award show. Square up, nigga. <laughs> right, what right the right fuck? Right. Damn, dude. Like, I think he handled it pretty well. Bro. He did. He did. You know. What he I mean? did, and um, that's how you do it because this guy's so smart. Yeah. Smart. He yeah. knows that Calculated. if he blows up, he knows that he blows up. But trying to hit a hit a quitter or trying to get two in the body, one in the head, he knows he's gonna miss his comedic, you know, comedy career. Yeah. People are gonna look at him like what an asshole, and that's what happened to Will Smith. Yeah. Now he's the one to blame. You yeah. know. And oh yeah. He, don't, he probably. I don't know how he feels like it, but he's probably thinking like, damn, I should have like... I fucked up. I fucked up because I should have handled it better than that. Yeah, it's hard. But yeah, I, I need to check out his special. Yeah, everyone check that shit out. It's funny. Um, also, let me see. What do we have next, man? I Damn, guess we're really hitting a, the, 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 the strikes. You're just hitting me with shit. How yeah, long do we have? Left, right, here and there. Yeah, uh, nah, just a few more. Let's end on this, man. We just gave you a little banger real quick, guys. All right? I got to go. Um. <laughs> Have you heard of this uh, account, this social media account on Instagram, Mug Shouties? Enlighten me. Okay, let me show you, bro. Well, there's some crazy. I just found this out the other day, man, and it's pretty cool. I'm following. I mean, from um, the title, I'm thinking some uh, some stupid shit that you're about to tell me. Right? <laughs> I subscribed. I'm a follower. Of and, course uh, you are. <laughs> yeah. Check them out, okay, bro. Okay, this dude just handed me a phone full of... Uh, Check them out. Well, I'm about to say crazy bitches, but they actually look pretty good. Are these... Um, what are these hoes? They're like some... They're like exactly what you just said, but they're, that's their mug shots, bro. So, like, read some of them. Just pick pick one that you find interested in. <laughs> the P- one that I'd be like, oh, shit. Yeah, pick one, and then read what the fuck... Like, the one I say, how you doing, lady? What what date does oh, it sh- What date does it say? Hold on. Pick one. Cause we're gonna pick, dude. All I, right, I this, want you, I want us to pick. Now this trick, this trick right here looks crazy. Yeah, there's some that look pretty, pretty good. But we're gonna find mug shots. But nah, come on, I don't believe some of this mug shot. They're, they're they're shit. Like you know, everything in, in media nowadays, you can post anything. Just say, oh, it's a mug shot, but it's really not. Well, anyways, I don't know. But I don't know that trick. I don't know. She looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, let me see what she got. We're gonna today. We're gonna pick. Let mug. me guess. Don't say. Don't say what what she got. What she got pulled over. Um, yeah, she got drunk. I have friends. 
What? And the friend left her at a party, at the party, and then she got pulled over because she was trying to drive back to her home. Well, this is February 23rd. This post, this picture was posted. I don't think that says the name, right? But she, yeah, I guess was arrested for a DUI, bro. I told you, driving. She's a cutie, man. We're going to pick Mug Shorty's finest today, okay? We're you know why? Because she, look, she looked like, uh, look like a Latina, bro. That's like. Uh, you think so? Yeah, she look. She don't look. Really, look at that hair, bro. It's black. It ain't blonde. Yeah, maybe. she look like a Latina. Well, look at this. Is the one that was trending last week, bro. Let me see. Doesn't have it's. Uh, it was posted on February February February. Yeah, bro, bro, bro. February eighteenth. Uh, she was. I guess uh, that <laughs> chelas are kicking in right yeah, now. Yeah, she was. Uh, yeah, she <laughs> busted. She was arrested. That's funny that you're talking about this and you're 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 fucking um drunk too. Yeah, I'm faded right now. Um, sober than the motherfucker. She's uh possess. She was busted for possession of a machine gun, possession of a firearm silencer, damn, and possession of a controlled substance with the damn. intent to disturb you, bro. Bonnie and Clyde. She down for <laughs> the shit, and she looks normal. I don't know, man. How old is this girl? She's a cutie though. Huh? She that, that's right. probably Mug Shardy's finest right there, bro. That's Mug see, Shardy's finest. I don't see. I don't believe this though, because when she I looks like that girl from Shameless, bro. Yeah, but when you show me this, I don't believe this. This bitch, this, this girl <laughs> right here, she looked like. Take a picture, okay? Let me look my cute. Let me look it could cute. Be, it could be like an AI, bro. Like a like it's those fake. AI fi um, pictures and Come shit. Come on. When you take a mock shot, you got the most disappointed face that you can ever make because that's a picture that everybody's going to see. <laughs> yeah. And this bitch is looking like... <laughs> she looked like... Glamour she shot. <laughs> yeah, let me take a picture. But like, let me add a filter to that. Yeah. This is just another uh, filter. Yeah. That's what she's giving me on that because she looks good right there. No, nah, man, if you, if, especially females that are very emotional, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a glamour one? shot, bro. How about this one, bro? Now, this bitch right here... <laughs> <laughs> golly she's a winner bro she's a keeper anytime you see that's how you know now this is what, what i'm talking about some mock shot yeah because girls first of all a girl is gonna start crying second of all a girl it's gonna her makeup is gonna start running <laughs> yeah and third of all she looks scared as fuck she does like what the, <laughs> like, fuck, what the fuck did i do where is my car what the hell read what it says Read what she did. Mark Shotties allegedly sh stabbed her on an off boyfriend 22 times in his sleep after she found him massaging a 13 year old girl and FaceTimed her friend showing the body and giggling. Exes have accused her of blackmailing them with sex. Like I said, I don't even need, need to go on. Well, not all heroes wear capes, I guess. Yeah. Now, this is that. That's a mock shot, people. This yeah. is a mock shot. Yeah, that, that bitch looks crazy right there. Look at her eyes, yeah. Yeah. See? And it, it fits the description, Danny. Yeah. The first one you showed me was a glamour shot. Okay, how about this one? I'm going to show you another one. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this shit, dude? People are what? They're just uh, uh, commenting on them or what? It's just, yeah, I guess. Check this one out, bro. Right. Maintaining <clears throat> a drug trafficking place, possession of meth, with the intent to distribute, possession of THC, possession of a drug God. paraphernalia, possession Damn, of meth, dude. possession of a controlled is substance, this? and delivery illegal where articles is, to inmates. Where what is this happening? Fuck? California or this shit? I don't know, bro. It she sounds looks, like she, shit like that be going she down. She looks in like a Harley Quinn without her makeup oh, and yeah. shit. Oh, yeah, she does do like her. I wonder if she, that what she was going for. I don't know. Yeah, she looked crazy. She looked like a. Uh, um, you know when your eyes get glossy? Yeah, yeah. What is that drug, bro? That, you know, you do it Shame. so much. Shame. That shit that you no, cook that, and you shoot up on your arm. What is that shit? Oh, shit, like heroin and shit or something? Does heroin, heroin, I'm not good with, like, uh, does heroin make you down like that, drown? Oh, no, man. They just. Or does it make you it like. I've never done it before. I've never done that shit. And I never will. Fuck that. Here, let me see. That's. Okay, we're going to. I'm going to believe that. Let's rank it. What do you think? From crazy, from, crazy from bitch. One, from a one to a ten. That's probably from a one a, to a dime. One from a ten. From one going to, from number one being um oh hell no, and to one being yeah, oh hell yeah, no, no one being all right, bitch. I, I can see you going through a bad day too. <laughs> ten being like damn, bitch, who you didn't kill, right? Uh, no, because no. ten is the worst, right? No, ten is supposed to be good. Oh, it's one is supposed to be the worst. Yeah, like damn. Oh, because yeah. it's girls, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'll say that's probably a three. 
three and yeah, a half. Okay. She's not that good looking, but she doesn't look as crazy as the first bitch was a ten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about this one? Let's see this one. Oh shit. Yeah, so number one means she looks good. Ten means she just like toe up from the flow up, make me want to throw up type shit. Right? Yep, yep. Does it really take that long to find okay, another crazy bitch? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just looking. I'm trying to vet them out, bro. Read that <laughs> one. What does that one say? Damn, this bitch look high. She looks high. She doesn't look... Well, you could, she could be looking drunk. Mark Shard is originally charged with attempted first-degree murder assault with deadly weapon, but those charges were reduced to reckless endangerment. A homeless man asked her to move her Porsche while he was trying to sleep on the sidewalk, and she argued with him, then shot him. Wow. Damn, is this all valid, bro? Is this not making not believe? Because some of these girls don't look like they're capable of doing that shit. They're mug shoddies, bro. That's right. Why, that's why they're infamous. So mug shoddies means this is slang term for what? Just like hot little shorties on their mug shots. Ride or die bitches. Yeah, ride or die yeah. bitches on their mug, <laughs> their mug shots, bro. That set it off, bitches, bro. Some crazy ass bitches. Queen yeah. Latifah set it off, bitches. So, something like that. Similar. Very similar. That's you, crazy, dude, because I don't. I, when I see this white girl, I don't think she'd be busting caps on homeless people. Damn. Well, don't fuck with my Porsche. I can understand with the Porsche. Yeah. She looks like one of those teachers that fucking bang students and shit. Right. Undercover freaks, bro. Mm, Found by teachers' see. pets. Yeah. Has, uh, has anybody else done that shit? Reactions? Like you're doing me? Like uh, I don't know. You know this, I don't know yet. I don't know. This is a cool. Are homeboys? I'm not sure. I just found out about this the other day. I was like, damn, this is cool. Okay, That's let's, crazy. Let's do one more. Let's do the recent, most recent And one. this is out of the norm, people. I don't normally do this type of foolishness. But yeah. <laughs> Look at this one, dude. <laughs> one of the latest ones with DUI, you know, dude. She got a shiner. Try to be more academic, but we're just effing around today. Damn. She's, somebody knocked her the fuck out. And look at me. <laughs> she looks all happy about it, too. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Is that ecstasy, bro? I don't know. But this one doesn't have a um, description or anything. No, she just got her ass whooped, dude. I don't think that's a mock shot. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, anyways, I don't know, man. Just give him a follow. This is a number. She look all right, except that she just got her ass whooped in the right eye. Is it? She bleeding? Yeah. But anyway, she's a four. Slap some dick to her face or some shit. Or something. Something happened. Uh, nah, nah, man. Oh, shit. It. Look at this. Underage alcohol sales. A bartender that served a drink to an undercover 19-year-old inf informant. She's an undercover cop? No, she sold to an undercover oh, cop. To I was little. like, damn. Oh, man. I'm telling you, man. Like I said, man, looking at these tricks, you would think they're everyday ladies, but damn, like I, Mark Shardy. They are everyday ladies. Everyday <laughs> ladies. But damn, like you see, that's the, you imagine you going on a date, right? Yeah. Let's say you meet one of these crazy bitches. Be careful. Be careful. Swipe left, <laughs> swipe left or swipe right, but damn, <laughs> if you go with this bitch, you, this bitch can <laughs> kill your ass, bust the cap. Yeah, and you will never notice. You will never see it coming, right? But maybe that's they use those photos. They should use those photos for their profile pictures. Hell yeah! <laughs> like, why even bother to set up a fucking profile when you look this good, right? That's right, man. That's dangerous, bro. I think I think men really want women like that because they're more crazy nah, in bed. But at the same time, this bitch can bust a cab while you fucking her. And she'll go <laughs> crazy, bro. It's probably worth the risk. Is it? Do you re really go out with the? <laughs> Go out with the bang. bang. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. The 